Today we're flying into Big Bear Airport, L-35, for some cheap fuel and good eats. Now from a beam Redlands Airport, it's just about 16 mile jaunt to the north and to the east into Big Bear. Both the lake and the airport are about 6,700 feet, but the terrain around it is much higher, so you'll want to climb to about 9,000 feet or so as you approach. First, we're going to take you in over the lake from the west, then I'll take you in from the east to Big Bear Airport. There's a good shot of the lake. You can see the airport right on the other side. Traffic pattern altitude 7952. We're going to round that off to 8,000 feet. We're going to enter on a 45 for a left downwind. I've slowly started bringing the power back. Cowl flaps are closed. Landing light is on. When we're on the 45 or about five miles out, we'll make another call. Big Bear traffic, White Skylights, just south of the lake, 8,500. Going to enter on a 45 for a left downwind. Runway 26, Big Bear. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is 2, southwest of the field, on the 45 for a left downwind, runway 26, full stop, Big Bear. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is left downwind, runway 26, full stop, Big Bear. So this is where you can scope out where the restaurant and the fuel is. It's right here. We're downwind to beam. We're 1,200 feet above. Keep in mind, traffic pattern altitude here is 1,200 AGL because of the terrain that lays on each side of the runway. So we're going to bring another notch of flaps in now, continue to bring our power back. Gas undercarriage, mixture props, switches, seat belts. We're good to go. Got it to 80. Big Bear traffic, white skylines, wing up left base, runway 26, full stop, Big Bear. Big Bear traffic, Piper 90, single military helicopter, 10 miles to the southwest, will be entering at left 45, runway 26, Big Bear. Got the runway made, full flaps, gears down and three greens. Nobody on final, nobody on the runway. Big Bear traffic, white skyline, half mile final, full uh, for runway 26, full stop, Big Bear. We've got two light pappy on the left. And as I like to see as I come down over the trees, it's two whites, which is infinitely better than two reds. We can look at our ground speed, 68 and then 72 indicated. So there is about four or five knots of wind here. We've got a red, and we want to keep that left one white until we get down to the runway. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is 8, northeast of the field, 9,000 feet. We're going to overfly the airport and enter a left downwind for 2-6, Big Bear. We've got some mountain obscuration off to the west. There's uh, noise abatement procedures up here you can read about in the AFD, one of which is to not overfly the high school, which is over here. Uh, on the east side of the field, and then the other is after departure to offset 10 degrees to the left, so we'll try to do that. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is 2, northeast of the field. We're going to overfly the field and enter a left downwind for runway 26, Big Bear. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is midfield, left downwind, runway 26, full stop, Big Bear. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline is wing up left base, 2-6, full stop, Big Bear. We'll do full flaps. And field elevation, 67.52. We got some altitude to lose. Let's slip it. Big Bear traffic, White Skyline's on half mile final, runway 2-6, full stop, Big Bear. So we're going to use that two light pappy off to the left. White on white, fly all night, airspeed looks good. There's a red. Let's just make sure the left one stays white till we're over the runway.
So we're listening on the radio before departure. There's a guy inbound. He hasn't called downwind yet, so we'll assume he was just recently over the lake. Nice little sign up here that shows what our density altitude is today, which is 7930. It's only 50-some degrees up here. But at this elevation, that's enough to give you some density altitude. Traffic fiber 9 zero, left downwind, runway 26 for a low approach, Big Bear. All right, Skyline's in the run-up area. We're going to get out of here just ahead of you. We're going to be a straight-out departure, runway 26, Big Bear. Fiber 9 zero, copy, thanks. Lights, camera, action. If you haven't been up to Big Bear in a while, put it on your list of places to go for a couple hours or a couple of days. It's easy to get in and out in a light airplane, and like we mentioned, there's cheap fuel and good food. Have fun, fly safely, and fly often. And I'll see you next time for another Fly the Wing in-flight video.